This is Twit. So yesterday, Microsoft announced that you will be able to remove your password from your Microsoft account. This is something they did for commercial Microsoft 365 customers back in March, which mm-hmm. I got to be honest, I kind of don't remember, but um, but okay, fine. And, and you know, and what does this mean, and and why would you do this, and how do you do it? You know, that kind of thing. So I have an app pick and a tip of the week that are tied to this, right? So the tip of the week is you should remove your password from your Microsoft account. And the reason is it's safer, although I will say the the baseline to me for account security online is to use a 2FA or a two-step authentication scheme of some kind, right? And Microsoft has an app called the Microsoft Authenticator that provides this capability. Uh, it's a smartphone app. You get it for iPhone or Android. Um, it also has other features. You, it does password autofill and mobile and all that kind of stuff. But And it supports non-Microsoft accounts, right? So you can do your Google account through there, although actually Google has a really seamless way of handling this now. Um, other accounts as well. So you can you can do two-step authentication for multiple accounts. It's not just Microsoft. So that's the app pick. So the first start is the first step is you need the, the, the app. The app is Microsoft Authenticator. Technically, you could use other Authenticator apps as well, but the Microsoft Authenticator app uh, has other functions which I think are useful. The second step is to actually do it. And uh, I, and this is the, and I actually, I should admit, we should talk about the why a little bit. Like, why would you do this? The truth is, if you're using uh, two, uh, it's not 2FA technically, two-step authentication, you're using the Microsoft Authenticator app, Authenticator. I'm turning into Boston. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Anthony! <coughs> Jeez. You take, like, I've been gone for like, I've been gone for four years. For, anyway, so, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'm sorry. And, um, you <laughs> use the Microsoft Authenticator app. Yes. Um, you never actually type in a password, right? So, if you need to sign in, your, your, you've just bought a new computer, you type in your uh, email address for your Microsoft account, you hit next, it says, we're going to send a prompt to your Microsoft Authenticator app, and it works great. You don't never type in a password. If you're on a mobile device and you need to sign into the OneDrive app or the Outlook app or whatever it is, same thing. You never have to type in this, this password. So you actually technically never even need it anyway. However, passwords are insecure, and there are backup methods of authentication where someone could, with your password, still authenticate against your account and break into it, right? So, for example, if you still have configured in your Microsoft account, the the ability as a backup to send a text message, that could be intercepted, or to authenticate uh, via your, you know, email address and maybe your email is open on some computer or whatever. You can still get into it. So, one of the way and passwords are easily guessed, right? Everyone has terrible passwords. So by eliminating the password from your account, you actually make that account safer. So the way you do it is from the web. You don't do this from the Microsoft Authenticator app, although that would make sense. Um, so you go to account.microsoft.com, uh, click on security, <clears throat> go to advanced security, and I should probably have had that open, <laughs> but um, you will see an option below the top. Let me just do it myself now as I'm saying it, instead of just saying what it is. I had to send a notification to my Microsoft Authenticator app to even do this. That's hilarious. So I will do that. You can see how secure this is. It's funny because I've been do I don't think I ever said <coughs> yes to do this, but I think right. I've been doing this all along because it says passwordless enabled, right on my oh, Authenticator. Interesting. Account. So well, so if you go to at some uh, point, maybe I maybe I'm, years ago or months ago, I said yes um, to that. I believe they just enabled it today. But I, uh, if you go to Advanced Security Options. And let me just do that and send, that's see really what's there. That's really strange because I you're going to see. I haven't had to enter of, my password in ages. <clears throat> no, right, but that doesn't mean it's not there. That's what I'm saying. If you enable two-step authentication, you never need to type in a password. Right, I love but, that. But when I when I look at my account, what I see is I have uh, there. How can I verify and sign in? Who oh, you know, sign I in see. to verify? Here. I see. I have I have a password. You can email me a code. You can text me a code. Something I should not not have. You can text me a code to a second number which I don't even have that number anymore. I should get rid of that. You can get a, send, a sign-in notification. That's through the Authenticator app. That's the default, right? But if you scroll down to additional security, there are two options now. There used to be one. Uh, the first one is two-step verification. Sorry, it's two, what I called two-step authorization before, sorry. Two-step verification. That's the Microsoft Authenticator app. You turn that on. That has to be on first. Um, and then there's passwordless account. And if you turn that on, your password will literally be removed from the account. Now, the caveat here is right below there. It says some apps and devices, and I would say some older apps and devices, Xbox 360, Windows Phone, uh, don't support 
this system because they predate two-step verification and they've never been updated. So if you're still playing Xbox 360, probably shouldn't do this, <laughs> right? Um, although you can create temporary passwords. It does kind of make me and, nervous. You know, I mean, I don't use my password because I can. Right. Yep. But I hate to delete it. So the good news is if you delete it and then you feel like, hey, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done this, you can add a password. Oh, okay. Too. okay. <clears throat> you can change it. Because there are some legacy nodes that do need passwords. Like yeah, and depending on who you are and what you do, right. yeah, you might not want to do it. But honestly, for most people, this will make your account very secure, and this is that most secure way to sign into Windows, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Type in your, your uh, username. Authenticate off the uh, authenticator. Right? It tells you a number, and you say the same number on the authenticator, and you're in. Yep. Yep. I feel like that is very secure. It isn't two-factor now, though. It's only one factor. It's just well, something you have. Yeah, I guess the yeah the something you know I guess is your your email address, but it's yeah. Uh, that's not yeah. Hard to, I mean, that's not hard sure. to figure out. No, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm if I mean I guess they're also relying on the fact that most people's phones have their own authentication, so that well that's right. And that's in order to get the phone it, to work, it, I right. it presumably logged into it. And, on my phone, I have to use the fingerprint reader right. to even access this. So right? then that would so be two-factor. Really. That's another layer, yeah. the layer yeah. of security. I almost yeah. said layer. That's a layer, the layer of security. The layer of security using authenticator. I am. What is happening to I me? I love it. No, don't change. <laughs> I, have not, I have not been you drinking. too much I don't know what... spaghetti, I think. It's oh, Anthony. Yeah, so... Anthony. Hey, Anthony. <laughs> right, hey, Paulie. Right. <laughs> so, so that's a tip and the app together at last. That's right. Yeah, unified. Get your Microsoft authenticator and then... Go passwordless. I think that's the future. I wish we could just do this. Absolutely. Actually, Steve people. Gibson created a technology that would do this called Squirrel. <laughs> Problem is, it's Steve Gibson did it. If Microsoft right. came along and said, "Hey, we got something for you," maybe that would work. Well, this is a way that a big company can change the world, right? It has. Yes. It has to come from Microsoft. Has to. You know? yeah. yeah. Or somebody like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I feel like though they need to make it easier for normal people to set this up. 